Hello, it's me again. Um, I thought I'd do a quick little video on what I use when I get out the shower um, on my face and my hair. Um, I always find it strange when I do the camera landscape because you're so used to looking up but then you're looking away from the camera so that's the camera, it's weird whether it's just me and I am blind <laughs> not literally but I do wear very vocals though they're not on at the moment um, so just have a shower use some new products actually in the shower which I'll share with you tomorrow which I've received in my beauty advent calendar so they were really good um, first things first I use uh, Clearasil Rapid Action Deep Pore Treatment Toner because I do have big pores. Comes with age, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, great. Getting old, kids. Um, so it can be quite stingy depending on what you've done to your face like I have done a face mask and also a few other treatments in the shower um, which I'll share with you tomorrow so that was a little bit stingy at first now years for years I was wiping with my toner but I found out that you are actually supposed to just pad it in um, I'm no expert I just do what I do um, so yeah if you think I'm doing it wrong just say comment below I don't mind I need all the tips I can get so yeah that's that um, just recently I've been using this um, night cream and it's bloody brilliant and it's from Aldi and I think it costs around six seven pound it lasts ages it's quite a big pot um, as you can see I've got a tiny bit left I need to get a new one and I really really like it ignore my nails I need to do those tomorrow um yeah it's really good give it a go I've also got the day cream but I don't use that as much because I've got other things I've been using recently but yeah Aldi fab um, I've got the tiniest bit left so I'm going to use that um, I'll just rub it in Never ever forget your neck, kids. Whatever you do, do your neck. Whatever you put on your face, put on your neck. Don't look bad for a nana. Two grandchildren. And my neck's alright. Because I've always done my neck. Do your neck. Don't forget the neck. Okay face is actually a little bit red and blotchy from the treatments maybe I've overdone it a little bit tonight but when you get you know it's like you get new products sorry I keep looking at there when you get new products you just want to try them it's like exciting I get very excited to try new things still I do um so yeah so that's that's that I've also recently got this um, balance me under uh, sorry I'm gonna have to put my it's wonder actually put my glasses on balance me wonder eye cream uh, soothes brightens and lifts for all skin types so I've been using that just the last few days that I had in my beauty advent calendar as well you can see it yeah so I can't really say yay or nay on that at the moment because I've only been using it for a few days um, I've been putting it on 
morning and night so let's see i look awful hey ho um so yeah and i put eye cream on just put it on your socket never right under the eye and i just gently move it round just gently give it a little press there whether I'm doing it right, I don't know. I don't care. What's going on? I just know not what not to do. Okay, so that's that. Next is I wanted to share with you my hair. Um, I've got really fine hair, um, and when I shower, well, it can take me about half an hour just to get it combed. Um, if I don't use a good product. Um, so I want to share with you what I use. Um, so I'm just going to section my hair roughly. And I use this. It is uh, Matrix Biolage Hydra Source Daily Leave-In Tonic. Um, I think that's focusing. It's so good on my hair. So if I show you, I can't get the comb through my hair. It's just so knotty. And I don't want to break my hair because my hair breaks very easily. So I'm just going to spray this section. Give it a little rub through. And then... Obviously the knots are still there, but it's so much, e look at that, so much easier to comb. It's like, and quicker, normally that would take me so long. Done. So I just keep doing that, section it off. Attractive. Yes, I am playing Christmas music in the background. I don't know if you can hear me. This is very quiet, but you might be able to hear it. I'm probably doing this wrong. There'll be hairdressers watching, going, oh, don't do that. Okay, maybe that's just a major knot. <laughs> there we go. I haven't actually combed my hair today. So I've been doing housework and all sorts. So this is so knotty. But look at that. Normally that would take me ages. And would be quite painful. Um, this is very good as well as it doesn't weigh your hair down. Um, so it's a leave-in tonic. It doesn't make your hair heavy or look greasy or anything. It's very good. I think it costs... It's around 15 to £20, pound, depending on where you buy it. Um, I got that from, I get it from uh, like hair sites on the internet, I've used it for years, so I think you can get it on eBay as well, it really isn't a good angle, I could do something higher for videos, um, I'm actually going to try something, let's try that, I could probably fall off. Hey, look at that. I've um, put you on a candle. <laughs> hey, there we go. 
Um, I always leave my hair until it's about 80% dry to blow dry it or you know style it anything um, apparently that's what you do I've heard that you shouldn't blow dry wet wet hair um, as you damage your hair more so um, I will usually go downstairs for a bit do a few things my hair's very fine so it dries quickly anyway um, and then what I do is I use this it's called matrix again um, total results wonder boost um, and that is very good and I just spray that in before I blow dry I spray it all into the roots to try and get some body and um, and then I blast my hair sometimes I'll do it with a brush and really like spend section it off and spend ages other times I just tip my head upside down and, and dry it that way, depending how I'm feeling. Um, so I'll show you that. Um, it must be very frustrating because I'm not looking at the camera. I keep doing that and I'm really sorry. Um, I haven't got my glasses on, I can't see. <laughs> I'll look at the camera. Um, anyway, so... Hello, I'm back. So my hair is 80% dry now. Um, and I'm going to add the root boost. I need a boost. Uh, just add it to my hair, obviously, the roots, and just rub it, rub it in. It's up to you how much you put in. I'm not really going anywhere tomorrow or anything, so I don't need major big hair. Um, and as I'm literally going to bed soon, in an hour or so, um, I don't need perfectly blow-dried hair. So I am just going to... Excuse me, I've just eaten a mince pie. Oops. Um... I am going to just dry it, blow dry it upside down very quickly and just blast blast the roots. Um, so yeah, I shall film that if you like. Um, yeah, sorry, handy. So I literally just put my head upside down and and blow dry my hair. <coughs> hey, sorry about the bright light. Put you there. It's the bright light. So yeah, put your head upside down and blow dry. That'll do. <laughs> Look like I've got a bird's nest. I promise you it'll be fine once I tip my head the right way. So here we go. No, it still looks like. But now I have. Let's try and put you there. Uh, will it work? I have more body in my hair. So, um, sometimes I'll just blast sort of here because 
is hard to get it all when you've got your head upside down. But that is bigger hair. It's giving me a bit of a boost. Boost. Obviously, if I'm going out, um, night out or anything, I'll use. Sorry, I've got a hair in my mouth. I'll use um, this brush to get in the roots and just get body that way as well. Um, but just going to, and I also use. I brought it this year. Um, it's the GHD. I think it's called the Aura or something like that. I think there's only two types of GHD hair dryer, and it's the latest one. Um, and it's that one, the second one they did. Um, it's brilliant. It is just brilliant. It'll blow you into next door. Um, so I'm just going to blast the sides. Then what I usually do is I just smooth it down. So I've got some body and I'll just smooth it down a bit with my comb. Get my part in back. Um yeah. I've done I've completely damaged my hair this year. Um I used to be blonde for a good number of years. And I um, went dark and then decided to grow all colours out of my hair. So I didn't have my hair coloured for over two years, which was brilliant. I, didn't, I haven't done that since I was a teenager. I'm, I've always coloured my hair. Um, and, yeah, it was, my hair was, oh, it was lovely. I'd literally got probably um, that much was left to grow out and I decided to go red so I went bright bright red literally red red and um, you can still see it a bit and I was red for two weeks and regretted it um, so then I had a dark put over it so now my hair at the ends where there was blonde then red and now dark has broken um, and now I've gone from colour free hair to two colours on my hair and it being more damaged. It's actually the condition's not too bad but I think it's bro it's breaking here and there but <sighs> live and learn. <laughs> so I just have to grow it out again. And I just wish now that I'd all I'd done was do the um balayage blonde at the ends but I didn't so I wanted to go red I've, I've wanted to go red for a few years so I needed to do it just to um, get it out of my system and see what it looked like and it was fat I loved it loved the colour I just didn't love it on me so I think I suit darker hair or blonde hair better so yeah but now I'm very dark so, but that's okay. Um, my natural colour is slightly lighter than this, but it is still dark. So, but you can still you can see the red, which I quite like actually. In the light, you can see the red in in my hair still. So I quite like that. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my video. It's not too boring. Um, if you found me and you don't subscribe already please subscribe um, I'll be doing a lot more videos in 2017 also with the hubby um, Mr Moose uh, he'll be joining me along the way um, so yeah click like click subscribe um, and I'll be really happy <laughs> 
Um, if you want me to do any videos on anything, let me know. I'm going to do a little video tomorrow, um, day in the life of. Um, it literally me being at home, broken up from work. Um, not a great deal to do, but I'm sure I'll find things to video about. I'll be doing my nails. I'll let you know about the products I used from the advent calendar. Um, yeah, so uh, leave some comments below and let me know what you think or if there's anything you want to see. Um, thank you again and goodbye.